Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we've got another body armor test for you and we're going to be launching some pills into the RMA Armament Level 4 1155 multi-curve plate. Uh, you guys might recall our original video on the standard 1155 plate and it shrugged off some pretty interesting threats. Level 4 is no joke. Uh, this stuff is NIJ compliant. We're going to be launching some pretty nasty threats at this, and we're going to exceed the level four threat by a pretty good margin. We're going to go ahead and knock that test out here first. Uh, we're going to start out with the P-17 with some black tip Garand ammo, which is a pretty substantial threat. We are getting some higher velocity out of the P-17 action than when we got out of the Mauser in the first video. If you haven't seen the first video, check it out. It's very entertaining. We threw some really interesting stuff at these plates. So if you're discovering this video, over the original 1155 video, refer back to that to get even more insight into what these plates can stop. But we are gonna go ahead and launch uh, some pretty nasty stuff at this. Let's get started, this will be fun. Okay, black tip Garand ammo from 10 feet away into our level four plate. You turn the corner and there's Alvin York with a P-17 and he's got you in his sights. You are doomed. All right, I'm not Alvin York, but I do have a P-17. And these are making a little more velocity than the Mauser 66. Uh, I'm going to go over to the CMP and pick up a Garand for future videos. I think that's a little bit more, you know, better rifle to use for this test. But here's the P-17, black tip ammo, okay? Woo, yeah. I saw some sparks fly out of that. That was sketchy. That's the train to Sketchville. All right, let's have a look. Oh, good grief. I, I just cannot even begin to think of what it would be like to have this armor on and get hit with that, with that round. That's some gnarly Velcro there on this carrier. All right, let's see if we can uh, get this armor out of here. Okay, we do have some remnants coming out. All right, we're gonna have a look. Now we did get some jacket spalling here coming out of the carrier just a bit. Uh, the back face deformation, actually not bad. Look at that. So that was two rounds of uh, black tip, just a mild amount of back face deformation. So what we're gonna do is chalk this armor back up and down here where we got some fresh uh, areas on the plate, I'll go ahead and shoot a couple of M855A1s, which is not part of the NIJ testing protocol at all. Uh, not yet. I'm sure once they, you know, bring the testing standards up to date a little bit with some of the, you know, newer threats, you probably will see it. But we're going to exceed the level four threat now that we've tested it with black tip. Let's do the M855A1 and see how it uh, does with a couple of those. This is going outside of the protocol that we could really expect this armor to stop. So we're starting to get into interesting territory, but it's interesting to see how well it stopped those uh, black tips. Let's move on. This is uh, gonna be interesting. Let's give it a try. It's a gnarly bullet, isn't it? Look at that. All right, M855A1, two shots. Here we go. Oh boy. Every time, every time I shoot armor, I get anxious because I wanna know what happens. So let's go have a look. Woohoo! nasty. Let's get their gnarly Velcro. They definitely don't want this plate getting out of here. Quick note on this carrier. I actually do like the design of this carrier being a slick one because it does have the little magazine pouches on the side, which I thought was kind of cool. Anyway, just a footnote. All right, ooh, son. All right, we're asking this armor to do something it's not designed to do. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's still gonna hurt. Okay, the grand reveal. <laughs> you know what's crazy is the back face deformation compared to the black tip is pretty comparable. So that's saying a lot about what the carrying energy of that 62 grain bullet really is. Speed is what defeats body armor. Bullet construction and speed. If you get those two things working in concert with each other, You've got a deadly concoction, okay? Um, but 
that's a very interesting result. We're probably going to retire this particular plate, put a fresh plate in, and now we're going we're gonna to find a marrying of these concepts. I've got some old school Remington accelerator ammo. All right. It's a 55 grain bullet in a 30 alt 6 case, and they're moving at some ridiculous speeds. Let's try one of those out of the alt 6 at the same distance and see if it penetrates a level 4 plate. We're getting into silly territory. In terms of a level 4 certification, I don't know. I mean, I would, I would say this armor exceeds level 4 performance, if that's a thing, which I don't even think it is. I think level 4 for hard armor, that's, that's where it stops. They need to have a new testing protocol for some of the, these armor uh, plates that they're coming up with. The NIJ needs to go back to the drawing board and kind of reassess what some of these threats really mean to these plates, I believe. That's my humble opinion. I am wearing a lab coat though, so that makes this somewhat scientific. Redneck science. All right, accelerator time, baby. Let's do it. Um, now, this is obviously uh, out of bounds of NIJ certification. We're getting into some silly threats. Uh, this thing's making some stupid velocity, so uh, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Accelerator. <laughs> Whew, had a little bit fly back on me there. Let's have a look. Okay, <laughs> well, that was interesting. Look how it blew out of there. I mean, look at the hole. Uh, that, that's not normal. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look. So that was that 55 grain pill, just a soft point, but running at a ridiculous amount of speed out of our 30 alt six here. Okay, want some gnarly Velcro? Okay, here we go. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at the size of that hole. Look at the back face deformation. I have to say that out of all the rounds, that might have the, the highest amount of back face deformation out of all the, the three threats that we've tested. Wow. So accelerators are no joke. Let's move on with the test. Find some other fun to get into. How about a 338 Lapua into the level four? This is a 250 grain federal gold medal match. I have the Desert Tech here, and we're wearing a KG made suppressor on this particular one. <laughs> this is sketchy. We're 25 feet away. Somebody's got a 338 pointed at you at 25 feet. Probably don't want to go toe to toe with that guy, but in this fantasy world we've created, let's give it a try. All right. Here we go, and uh, Jake was over there running the excavator, that's okay. Let's have some fun. Here we go. Oh, son! Dude, it hit with so much authority. It was like Thor's hammer smacking that plate. Let's have a look. Okay, I don't know what to think. There's many emotions going through my little mind right now, and let's just have a look. Rather than speculate, we're just going to let the proof be in the pudding, as they say. Here's our plate. Oh, look at that gaping hole. Is there a gaping hole on the back side of the plate? Oh, son, look at that back face deformation, though. That would hurt. And if you look at the way that 338 rocked this, this dummy when it hit, wow, that is some serious medicine that this plate absorbed. That's certainly not part of NIJ certification right there. That, that's insane. That is Looney Tunes land right there. This armor, man, that is fantastic performance. All right, we're gonna run the CMMG Mark 47. This is just some regular tool of ammo, uh, ammunition, so nothing crazy in terms of the projectiles. But we're gonna shoot this full auto here. Uh, this particular gun is wearing a Crimson Trace uh, CTS 1000. Nice little ruggedized red dot. Let's get after it. I'm gonna sort of shoot all around there and we got some cardboard to see if any of the rounds make it through. All right, here we go. MK47.
Woo, Nelly. That thing is freaking ridiculous. Okay, so we have a slight spoiler. It's back here on the table. There's some chunks of lead. And I pick them up, they're still hot. <laughs> Look at that projectile, <laughs> it's just sitting there. So something made it through. I'm thinking that those rounds probably went through in the spots we already shot, but we've got the cardboard, so let's let that be the guide. And I was able to get quite a few rounds all over this plate. So hopefully this will be a pretty good indication. Woo! All right, I'm gonna pull out the cardboard and the plate together. Okay, there's our plate. Worse for wear, but somewhat there. There's the cardboard. So we had a few rounds make it through. Okay, wow, look at that. Now, that plate obviously was already severely compromised, so we don't take this for face value, but that, that's quite interesting. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you notice where the rounds made it through are relatively close to where the plate was already compromised, okay? When we see where the projectiles are hitting low down here and over on the side, you can tell from the cardboard that nothing really made it through on the sides. That's still an interesting result nonetheless. Uh, I know that we're kind of asking this plate to do something it's not designed to do, and of course you can see where they made it through. A couple of them made it through near the edge. But uh, interesting result nonetheless. Uh, that's, that's definitely something that the plate's not designed to do. But for our benefit, it's still cool to show off. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. I definitely appreciate all of our Patreon supporters. Also, head over to Ballistic Inc. and pick yourself up a snazzy t-shirt. Now, Matt was in the first video that we did on the 1155. He can't be here today because he's really busy printing y'all's t-shirts. So. Give him some heck and send him some more t-shirt orders, and I'm sure he appreciates that. Have a great day. Many more videos on the way. I love testing body armor. We got more in the queue. We'll see you soon.